good video math fails, and I want to add to this. I want to add to this a little bit. I want to make a, a, an analogy to the question of, is the universe alive? Well, obviously the universe is alive, because there's life in the universe. But people want to know, well, no, but is the whole thing alive? Well, that question is not as meaningful as, as people seem to think. Because let's ask a similar question. You know, am I alive? Well, is everything in my body alive? Is the water in my body alive? Is all the bone tissue, everything, all the calcium deposits in my body there? there no. No, my, my body is only partly alive. It's a system of living cells, and those each can be said to be living. But many of the parts of that system and the chemicals that those living things trade back and forth are not considered and not to be considered living. But we are still alive because life is present within us. So in this sense, yes, yes, of course, the earth is alive. It's got all this living stuff in its system. Um, and it's similar for the question of meaning, because humans, let's assume that uh, living creatures assign meaning, not just humans, actually, but, but let's say living creatures uh, assign meaning. Some people can say only the humans can do that, but let's just, let's just say living creatures. And there's living creatures, so they're assigning meaning, so there is meaning in the universe. But does the whole universe have a meaning? Well, that's the same kind of question. Is the whole universe alive? So, um, uh, so I totally agree with you. Parts of the universe create meaning. Therefore, the universe has meaning.